up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlogmas video in today's video i'm gonna tell you how i became a software engineer i did a short video on this earlier this month it was part of vlogmas but i still get a lot of questions like what university i went to or what was my major what was the degree that i chose etc so i thought i'll make a full video on this let's start from the beginning i was born in sofia in bulgaria by the way i'm currently in sofia i'm not in london i came home for christmas that's why my background is a bit different from normal so i grew up in sofia and and I went to an English language high school which means I had to study a lot more English than the regular high schools and then I had to pick a second foreign language as well so the focus of my entire high school education was foreign languages I did French as a second language but I was also good in maths and I really enjoyed maths it was my favorite subject together with English and French um, those were my favorite ones so when we had to pick uh, another subject to specialize in I think it was in 11th and 12th grade I picked mathematics and IT like informatics that basically meant that apart from the regular math classes that we all had to do like in every school everywhere i also had extra classes which were in advanced maths we did some maths at university level it was just a much more advanced and i did pretty well in that <laughs> i really enjoyed it apart from school i was really into dancing and gymnastics which in this video is completely useless information and i was also very much into drawing arts crafts all things like that when it was time to graduate i didn't really know what i wanted to do so i had to figure it out and because i was really into maths and into drawing i thought that architecture is the only logical answer full disclosure i never had any prior interest in architecture in particular i just wasn't really against it either and at the time it seemed like a very good decision it made sense it felt logical so i applied to a bunch of universities i got accepted into the university of manchester and after graduation or after the summer after graduation i left bulgaria and i moved to manchester to study architecture unfortunately things didn't really go as planned and i ended up hating architecture I just hated everything about it. I was very very miserable. I was submitting my assignments, I was passing, I wasn't failing but I wasn't enjoying it at all. At the time I remember I was thinking that maybe it's because I'm homesick, maybe it's because I just moved to this new country. I wasn't happy at all and I thought okay maybe it's not architecture, maybe it's just the fact that I'm not used to all of this, I'll give it time. I remember in first year I joined the cheerleading team of the university. It's such a vivid memory, it's like engraved in my mind. I remember coming back from practice on the bus with a bunch of other girls from the team at that point it was maybe november like it was pretty early on we were all like discussing what we're studying and what is everyone doing things like that and everyone was like really really liking their degrees people were generally so happy they were so excited to be there and i was so miserable i remember just sitting there and thinking wait is that is that what it should be like? We're not all miserable, it's just me. At that point, it was clicking that something's not quite right. I was also talking to a lot of my friends who did computer science and they were all super happy. I was talking to this uh, friend from my school in particular and he was like, yeah, computer science is a lot of fun. I really like coding. He was like, maybe you'd like it too. And I was like, sure, okay. I mean, I think it was almost Christmas time at that point because I remember I was going home soon. And he suggested Code Academy. If you've heard of this website, they have like free courses there's tutorial and then there's exercises and you do everything on the platform in a browser so it was really easy you don't have to set anything up on your local machine so he sent me that and i opened a java course I did a few tutorials and I actually really really liked it so I carried on and I think maybe I completed the whole course I don't know but it was like basics like very very easy stuff overall I was like wow this is nice I really enjoyed this but then I thought okay maybe I should give architecture a chance and I decided to just finish first year to make sure that it's not just the changes in my life that were making me so miserable so I was like let's let's give it a full year and we'll see after that in all fairness second semester was better but I still wasn't loving it Michael is joining the conversation so I finished first year I went back home for the summer and then when it was time for second year I went back to Manchester I started second year and I think I did about three weeks of it and I still hated it like I hated everything that we did I didn't see point in anything and by the way it doesn't mean that architecture is generally bad it just apparently wasn't the thing that I should be doing clearly it wasn't for me because that time of my life I was the most miserable I've ever been like I can't even describe to you how miserable i was the only thing that i actually enjoyed of the whole degree or the part of the degree that i did was anything that had to do with computers so the 3d modeling computer drawing the only thing i was ever excited about was the things that we did with computers so that was a good sign that probably i'm not doing what i should be doing in the process i also lost my love for drawing completely it came back after that but at the time
time I stopped liking drawing at all because I don't know I didn't see the point of anything that I was doing I can't exactly explain it but it was just this feeling that I am definitely not where I'm supposed to be and I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing so started second year did three weeks still hated it I started feeling the exact same way I was feeling the year before so nothing has changed even after a full year and then the time I was just like okay th this is it like I can't take this anymore this clearly isn't the thing for me because if this is the right thing for me surely it shouldn't feel so horrible surely I should like it at least a bit more I know that whatever you decide to study it's always gonna have courses that you don't like or assignments that you don't like but I felt like I hated the whole thing so I was so sure at that point that this is not for me that I just emailed right away and said um, hey I want to drop out <laughs> that was one of the fastest decisions I've ever made and by the way I'm a very indecisive person I don't make decisions especially important ones very easily but I was so sure about this and I remember leaving the building after I signed the documents I felt like this massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders at the time I still didn't know what I'm going to do or what I should be doing but I knew for sure that that wasn't it at the time my parents weren't very happy about my decision but I didn't even care so that was that at the time I thought okay let's try computer science because I had done a bit of coding already and I enjoyed it everything that I did at uni that I liked at that point was computer related stuff. I knew already that I enjoy mathematics, so I was like, this sounds better now. At that point, I had a feeling that it would work out. So I went to uni, but the year had already begun, as I told you. They couldn't let me start computer science right away. The course was already full, the year had started, so I had to wait for the next one. I spent the rest of the year working on a bar, which I was doing before that anyway. I got a job, I think, in the beginning of first year, I got a job right away. That's how I was supporting myself as well. The next year, I started studying computer science. I gotta tell you, I fell in love with it literally from day one. It just felt right. I loved everything that we did. I was also used to the UK. I could focus on my degree. I could focus on finding friends. I already had a job, so that was fine as well. I remember we started with Raspberry Pis and setting them up and some bash stuff, like just uh, teaching us how to use Linux from a terminal, like really easy stuff that I actually already knew how to do. But I just loved it. I loved everything about it. Like I can't explain it. It's just this feeling that you're where you're supposed to be. So I was over the moon. I really really liked the degree and I started doing really well in it. I always had really good grades in everything that I did with a couple of exceptions but I mostly did very 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 well. That's a result of me liking it so much as well because I just felt so passionate about it. I found really good friends. Sunny, who you've seen from my vlogs, if you've watched me for a while. I met her in first year. Computer science literally brought us together and we've been inseparable ever since. So that's basically how I got into computer science. After first year, I couldn't really get an internship because to be honest, I wasn't really aware of this whole internship thing yet. Like when I became aware of it, it was a bit too late and I didn't have prior experience before uni, so I probably wouldn't have passed the interviews anyway so in the summer after first year I came back home and my parents have a friend who let me intern um, in his company he was giving me some tasks to do I was shadowing I wouldn't call it an internship I, I don't know exactly what to call it but I was there I was showing up I was trying to soak up as much as I can it was still a very useful experience even though at the time I literally had no idea what's going on and it was still something to put on my CV and then I went back to uni for second year I had to start looking for a placement because I was doing a sandwich course which in England means that you're doing two years of your education and then you go for a full year in industry so you get a long internship basically and then after you complete the year you go back to uni to finish the degree and that's how I ended up at JP Morgan where my friend Sonny also went we both went to Glasgow for one year we both worked at JP Morgan while I was at JP Morgan I was applying for summer internships for the summer after I complete my 12 month placement and that's how I ended up at Amazon I completed the full year at JP Morgan and literally a week after I finished one I went to Edinburgh to start my summer internship at Amazon which was also amazing and then I went back to uni for my final year. I got an offer to return to uh, JP Morgan, which I rejected because I didn't like it that much. And then from Amazon, I didn't get an offer. So when I went back to uni, I had to apply for grad jobs. It took a while, but I ended up getting a job at Bloomberg, which is how I end up where I am now. Um, and I started Bloomberg uh, this time, last year almost. I've been in Bloomberg just over a year. So yes, 
here we are. This is how I became a software engineer. And just to make a few more things clear, because people have been asking, I haven't really done any coding before university. The only thing that I've done is the Java course on Code Academy, and that's really, really basic. I've never done proper programming before that. I've never done boot camps. I've never done competitive programming as such. I've done a lot of hackathons, which really helped me get internships because you need to start somewhere. And hackathons are a really good way to show that you're passionate about computer science. I was uh, going to some coding events. I was part of the computer science society and the hacking society. At my uni, we had this program where second and third year students uh, mentor first year students. So I signed up for that with Sunny. I also became a student ambassador, which is basically showing up for visit days when prospective students come into the uni for um, either for visit days or for interviews take them around you talk to them about the university about the course you answer any questions that they might have so I was really trying to do anything that I could outside of my curriculum to build up a CV and to show potential employers that I'm really serious about this whole computer science thing and I am really passionate about it would you like to ask anything it's so cute so yeah, I think this is pretty much the summary. I hope this answers your questions and I hope this inspires you to search for a career that makes you happy. If something makes you really miserable, I don't think that's right for you because we shouldn't be spending our entire lives doing something that we hate. I think that's the main takeaway point out of this whole um, video. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.